It was a moment to pay tributes and pour out grief as the late Deaconess Victoria Ngozeka Eza Makam was laid to rest at her husband's compound in Umatwegu Uhobo village, Okija, in Ihala local government area. The late Deaconess Eza Makam, who was aged 72, was the mother of a staff of Information Communications Technology Department of Anambra Broadcasting Service, Ms. Oluchi Eza Makam. Correspondent De Blessing Dennis filed the report. Born on 9th May 1951, the late Deaconess Eza Makam died on 18 December 2023 after a brief illness. The funeral ceremony attracted ministers of God, members of Assemblies of God Church, Omumbam Kindred, in laws and the ABS family, friends and well-wishers. The late Deaconess Eza Makam was described as an intelligent, enthusiastic, strong, energetic, hard-working and devoted member and secretary of the Assemblies of God Church, Okija. According to her biography, she was a hustler, a teller, and a singer winning awards as the best sopranist at the St. James Anglican Church, Omonia, after her demise. Ministering during the burial service, Reverend Gideon Anya, who spoke on the topic, faith of a Christian in resurrection and duty of Christians towards the death of a loved one, said, whosoever believe in Christ and is baptized do not die, rather they transcend to be with their maker. He encouraged the bereaved family to take solace in the Lord as the life of their late mother was filled with testimonies of the love of humanity, calling on all that gathered to live their lives according to the precept of Christ as not to be found wanting during the last day. Speaking shortly after the funeral service, the son of the deceased, Reverend Paul Chiwututu said the demise of their late mom was a very big challenge to them, but they believed strongly that they will meet again on the resurrection day. From the view that testimony is taken around, residents now more than ever for you. And the way you make it and more than ever see us are in their world. They go for the future. In fact, I am highly impressed the way this is going to be in my body. All of the evidence in our God support me. Same for us around the world. Anything on the earth, they can never mind me. This is a very interesting show. And the entire Zamatan family, the entire village, the entire Okita community, they are here. They are great for this occasion. It will never assume no one has this loss. Speaking to ABS, the first daughter of the deceased, Miss Eza Makam, said her late mother taught her how to be humble, accommodating, respective, and how to be benevolent to the needy. Describing her late mother as caring and loving woman who left good legacies to their children to emulate. Because Eza Makam gave her life at a young age. During this period, she joined the scripture union under the leadership of Dr. Paul Wanchipu of grace of God and she was a strong member of St. James Anglican Church Ojobi Omunya. She was a born singer. She is the highest and the best soprano singer in St. James Omunya with award and recognition. Commiserating with the family on behalf of the ABS, Mr. Teofilos Ojuku described Ms. Eza Makam as a dedicated staff of ABS who has contributed to the success of the establishment while praying for its internal rest of the Connect Eza Makam soul. <laughs> Let the Connect Eza Makam left behind her husband, Sir Frederick Eza Makam, seven children, ten grandchildren, in laws, and many relations. From Okija in Ihala local council area, Blessing Dennis, ABS News.